Okay, so the uh, part five of this review sheet looked at handshake problems. And handshake problems are a really basic counting type of problem where you're trying to count either the number of handshakes that would occur amidst one group um, or if you combine two groups together and all, people only shook hands across um, acro for to, with people that are not in their group. So there's really two separate problems. One is essentially inside the group and the other is outside the group. Let, let's start with outside the group. So outside the group basically says you've got two groups of people. I'm going to give them letters. Um, so we'll call group one has P person A, B, and C, and group two has got D, E, F, G, and H. And the problem states that in these two groups of people, whatever they are, they could be teams or math clubs or um, girls and boys, whatever it is, they're going to in some way interact with each other. We use handshake as the basic way, but it could be a high five or a hug or work in a group together or any other way that you could associate these people together. But the key to the problem is everybody in group one is going to shake hands with everybody in group two. It's a pretty easy problem because you notice A shakes five hands and B shakes five hands and C shakes five hands. So whenever it's two separate groups, it's always going to be the three people in one group shaking hands with the five people in the other group or whatever the numbers are. So there are 15 total handshakes that take, case in, take place in that problem. However, so that's the easier of the two. The other one, the one that's more common, is inside the group. So that means that you've got, let's say, um, six people. Person A, person B, person C, person D, person E, and person F. And there are multiple ways to solve this problem. I'm going to show you two of them. One, I'm going to show you that a lot is kind of the easier to understand. And then the other is a, is a shorter formula. The first way is to say, take person A. Person A is going to shake hands with person B, person C, person D, person E, person F. And so that's going to equal five handshakes. So person A is going to shake hands with five people. Now person B, as we're counting, well person B has already shook hands with, five, with person A, so they only have person C, D, E, and F to shake hands with, which is four people. And then continuing this process, C already shook hands with A and B, is going to shake hands with D, E, and F. And hopefully by now you're seeing the pattern. Person D would shake hands with E and F, which is two handshakes, and E would just shake hands with person F, which is one handshake. F has already now shook hands with everybody, so we're done. So you just do 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which turns out to be 15 handshakes. And so that answer is 15 as well. So you've got six people inside the group. How many ways can they shake hands with each other? The answer is 15. The way I like it better is to think about it this way. Person A does shake hands with five people, but so does technically person B. But if you, if you count person B's, all five of the people it shakes with, that includes the person A. And so what ends up happening is you're counting twice every single handshake. So if you've got six people that shake hands, uh, that, that are going to each shake hands with five other people, but that's counted everyone twice, you just do six times five divided by two, which is also 15. Uh, the way you do a formula is n is the number of people times n minus one over two, and that always works for getting your answer. So either way is fine. So let's look at our problems. 13, there are nine players on a basketball team. After practice, each player shakes hands with every other player exactly once. How many different handshakes occurred? Again, you could take per the first person and say, well, they shake hands with eight people, the next seven, dot, 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 down to one person. And you could add those together, and that would give you the answer. Or a little bit easier way is to say, all nine people shake hands with the eight, their eight teammates. So nine times eight is 72 handshakes. However, that counted every handshake twice, so we divide it by 2, which is 72 divided by 2, which is 36. So either method is okay. For 14, there are 28 students in a math class. Mrs. Lewis wants every student to high five every other student exactly once. How many high fives took place? Again, you could start and say that first student high five 27 people. The second, 26, because they'd already high fived with one. So you'd end up with 27 plus 26 plus 25 all the way down to 1. 
that doesn't seem like something I want to do. I would rather say I've got 28 students all giving 27 handshakes, but that's counting all of them twice. And so you just do um, 28 times 27 over 2. I'm going to do some cancelization. So it turns out to just be 27 times 14, which turns out to be 378. So this problem, there turned out to be 378 high fives that took place in that classroom. That would be a very, very loud class session if that many people were giving each other high fives. Okay, and then 15, the last one of this type, 14 girls and 11 boys in a class. Mrs. O'Keefe uh, has each girl shake hands with each boy exactly once. How many handshakes took place? Well, that's the easier one because the girls aren't shaking hands among themselves. So all 14 girls just shake hands with all 11 boys. And so that just turns out to be 154. So that one is just 14 times 11. It is very helpful if you can spend some time trying to make sure you understand the difference between 13 and 14 and then number 15 because they are completely different types of problems.